Oh my goodness. What's going on, Internet? More XCOM today. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. I am really digging this game. Let's just put it that way. And I'm brewing up a cup of coffee. Kind of afternoon coffee day. It's one of those kind of days. So I'll go get that in just a moment, but let's get loaded in. What are we, 9-5? What was that, 112-146? April 1st? Yeah, we were still trying to chill out in the, uh... Yeah. Chilling out at base, trying to figure out where we're going. That is a baby. Not really a baby, a toddler who is, uh... Screaming himself to sleep. He's not upset. Just toddler things. Hashtag just toddler things. Kids, yo. I don't claim to understand them. Now, if I remember right, I think we kind of got everything ready and we're just waiting to pass some time. That's getting researched. Not really a priority. We kind of got everything else we wanted to research. I don't think we need to build or buy anything. We got a little bit of everything. Maybe a little too much have one phoenix cannon linked up to something um, facilities are all got a few things going here so work is getting done soldiers are doing pretty good I think we had one okay we had two guys that were wounded but our our primary outfit looks rare and to go so we got two heavies two assaults now two supports and one sniper. Officer training school can't do anything until we get a major or a captain rather. Ships are good, situation list. Okay, so we're still trying to capture an outsider alien. Other than that, we're kinda good to go. Um put this fancy thing on here. Australia, India, Asia. Everybody's not very happy right now. So we're going to have to uh, figure out the best way of getting some of that taken care of. Sorry, I'm just opening up a new tab over here. I had a little uh, cheat sheet going on here for uh, base building is the only one I really kind of need a little bit more experience with kind of going through there and seeing all the different facilities that I can build. So I'm going to keep that up there for the next time I'm taking a look at that. Alright, so we'll put that there, put that there, and now let's see, here we go. Request from Argentina. Nine weapon fragments in storage, 27, time limit 20 days. Argentinian engineers have been clamoring to get their hands on some of the alien weapons technology. If they can piece together the fragmented weapons we have, they might just be able to make something to help protect their people. I've got plenty. I mean, I probably have to use some to research later. But I'm pretty careful of, you know, not blowing things up so that I could keep them. So, you know, that's nine weapon fragments I probably wouldn't have if I'd, you know, thrown a few more grenades or shot a few more rockets. So I'm kind of feeling like that's not a bad idea. Get a few bones in the bank. Requested nine. I have 20 days to do it. Ah, eh, whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead, Argentina. Oh, look, I even got an achievement. That makes it all worth it. Reports of Argentinian forces having new advanced weapons on the battlefield are starting to crop up. wonder where they got those. I imagine that kind of keeps panic a little low in that area, too. Am I right in that? Alright, Raven 1 is now armed with a Phoenix cannon. Good job, Raven 1. What? Put that thing back on here. Yeah, Argentina, I bet they're doing much better now. Alright, um... What situation room look like? Where is Argentina? In South America. Argentina. Yeah, keep that panic level down. I don't even know if it was rising. Come on, France, Japan, and India. You guys need weapon fragments? I'll be happy to send more to you. I'm going to go get some uh, coffee real quick. I'll be right back. Just a minute.
Alright. Got some coffee. We'll fly. Have coffee. We'll fly. Uh, what finished? Laboratory still getting worked on. Was there something else that happened? What happened? What finished? Anything? No beam weapons is still doing a thing. Laboratory's almost done. Yep. Alright. Come on. Let's pass some time here. Theory. Okay. Hey, we got a laboratory. I guess that's what it means. What was I going to look at here? Base building. There isn't as much screw up here, but what there is can cost you dearly, especially in terms of research and engineering. Research priorities. Beginning of a game, I found that getting meld recombination is always a good choice because it opens up cybernetics for you, an essential early game asset. Throughout the game, I always prioritize new research in this order. Autopsies, armor, weapons, aircraft, base assets. Uh, armor, because without it, you'll end up like me in my first game where I only had carapace for the first two-thirds of the game. <laughs> I was losing a soldier a game, and this was on easy. Armor is a good armor is a good thing. Autopsies are short and can unlock many smaller but useful upgrades. Weapons early weapons are really shitty, so laser weapons are a must. Plasma is less important, but the sniper rifle all of that tier is something else. Aircraft because they aren't as important as the others, but if you neglect them entirely, you'll start losing both countries and satellites very fast. Base assets is last, mostly because they usually pop up while researching prerequisites requisites like Illyrium, and they have a smaller impact on the game overall. This excludes story buildings, okay? Organization. Base organization is something that isn't required for a successful game, but gives you lots of smaller bonuses that do add up. It also looks nice, but that might just be the person writing this guide. On the note of organization, start excavating early. Try to always have space for when you get or want new buildings, because excavation takes some time and will hurt you if you're in a pinch. Equipment management, always keep your soldiers' equipment up to date. Doesn't matter if you can have laser rifles, only if you actually build them. I've done this a couple of times, and it can be frustrating when you forget to upgrade your stuff three battles in a row. That said, you can run out of money pretty quickly when buying equipment, so utilize the gray market where possible, especially mid to late game. You start getting things like damaged flight computers selling for 20 Okay, so you can only sell things on the gray market. I gotcha. So that's what he's talking about. If you get an excess amount of that stuff you can sell that stuff on the gray market. Good to know. All right. Okay, let's see here. So, now we got that finished, assign new construction kind of laboratory. Build facilities. That stuff's still excavating and you can't do anything else until okay. Well, we have a laboratory. Does that mean we can do anything extra here? Uh, at the moment. I think next I'm going to get an uplink facility. Because I could probably use another satellite so I can uh, help some of those folks in those other continents. They seem to be in some trouble. Do I have an excess scope? Probably. I probably have some excess stuff I'm not using. I could probably sell, but we won't worry about that now. I just want to kind of look at it. If you can actually sell that stuff. No? Okay, so I gotta be careful when I buy it because you can't sell those back. Interesting. Alright, hundred and thirty two dollars a month. Net monthly income three twenty three. So we're still making a decent amount of money. Let's we'll figure out where we'll put our next satellite once we do get the uplink area, but that's gonna be a while, so I won't fret about it. Soldiers are doing better. Yep, those guys are almost back in action. Engineering we're going to check that research, and they're still doing that, so let's go back and find some action, potentially. And the lift was complete, so now we have a second floor. Assign new construction, perhaps. Is there any more excavating we can do? What is this? We can build that other thing here. Oh, we had to excavate it first. Excavating is not actually all that expensive. It gets a little exp more expensive, apparently, the lower you go. So, we got some money. Let's uh, just get some areas opened up. Probably don't want to use all our money, but still, it didn't cost us that much. I don't want to be too stingy or else I'll have all this extra money and I have nothing to do with. Just like I do in Civilization, usually. 
Civilization 5, I tend to get tons and tons of money, and then I'm like, well, if I ever need an army, I'll just buy it. Right? Sure. Alright, so what's the laboratory do? I forgot already. It does things. Okay. Nope, still doing good, still doing good, still doing good. Alright, beam weapons and a council report in 25 days. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. How's panic going on in all these places? Still about the same level. Cool. Beam weapons. Okay. We finished beam weapons, laser pistol available, and laser rifle available. Cool. Those are supposed to be good, right? Right? What does it say? Laser weapons are a, a must. Plasma is less important. Okay, so that's what that thing says. If anybody ever wants to know what I'm reading here, I'll put up a link in the uh, chat. Just let me know. It's just one of the Steam community guides. A lot of useful little information for a newbie like myself. Laser pistol relies on our latest advancements to provide a more powerful sidearm that does not require reloading in the field. Ooh. Laser rifle, saw rifle relies on our latest in optics technology to offer a substantial increase in output over the conventional X9 rifle. Use the build by item option in engineering. Okay, well, I know probably a few guys that can use that. And the pistol, I definitely want a pistol on my... Probably on my assault and my sniper. They seem like the guys who should have pistols. Alright, carapace armor. Armor is probably a good idea. Don't really need more lasers. We can increase the range and power of our own laser weapons, or we can get heavy lasers. Let's go for carapace armor first. Armor, oh, I always like to have armor as a priority over weapons. The longer you stay alive, the longer you can do damage. Can't really do your damage if you're dead. So let's see how many of these things we can buy. I'll get two pistols, if I can, which looks like I can. Ooh, I might not be able to buy uh, rifles then. Let's see here. What do I have for rifles? I have one sniper rifle, I have one shotgun, and I usually have one heavy. So I probably only need two assault rifles. How much would that cost? Ooh, 15 alloys. I'm going to need some more alloys. I can only make one of those. I definitely want one laser pistol for my sniper. Because I didn't realize you could switch your weapon and shoot with the sniper after moving. I was too busy, like, oh, I can't do anything after this guy moves. Not with the sniper rifle, but I forgot you can shoot with the pistol. So we'll just get one of each, probably, for now. I believe that's all we can... we can make for now. Seems effective. All right, well, see, some of these I might have gotten too many of already, so I got to be careful. I'll be a little bit more uh, conscientious about my uh, upgrade spending because now I'm pretty low on alloys, and I could have had at least another pistol with that. Alright, well, let's see here. That's going fine. That's going fine. How is our buildings going? We can put something there. That would probably be another access lift, right? Yeah. Um, we're going to need some power soon. Power generator. Six power. 
Satellite dumpling costs five power. We don't have any power. Well, humph. I really want those little bonuses, but from what I hear, it's not the worst thing. And look, we can put another satellite uplink here. That's where the satellite uplink should go, since it'll be adjacent to that. And we might not have a laboratory here, but maybe we have a laboratory here later. We'll see. Not a big deal. We need the power, though. That's kind of important. Five days. Maintenance on this field costs eleven dollars every month, probably. All right, everything else is good. I don't need the access lift yet. Not yet. So let's not spend any money unnecessarily. Other than that, I think uh, we're good to move on. Uh oh, alien abductions reported. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the holocloak. I've got the coordinates locked in. France is in big trouble. We should probably go to France next. Very difficult, but that's not... doesn't sound good at all. I'm a little scared. It's only $200. Uh, but it's the panic level. The panic! Time to test our metal, huh? I'm a little worried about it. Are you still alive? You are. I haven't gone into a mission yet. So, but I'm about to probably test your your skills in just a moment, because I need to go to France, because they got a high panic level. And if we do this, it'll re they can rest easy. We'll get $200 for spending. Of course, we pass up a support sergeant. We don't necessarily need. We have two supports as it is, and they're already getting a little bit upgraded. And we pass up on four engineers, not to mention these two are only difficult. This is very difficult. Oh, well, we're going to find out what very difficult entails. This might be one of our first, uh... I won't say failure! It won't be a failure! Rick, rookie Anderson. We have all these other guys. Can we... Is this... These guys are active. Okay. Who we got here? Okay, let's see. What do we have? Alien abduction. Essentially what this means is what? We're just trying to kill these guys before they leave with people? I didn't understand last time. I just saw we killed like six aliens and we were kind of good with that. But they did kind of look like they were running away. Uh... Sergeant, 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 all Sergeants, Heavy, Sniper, Support, Assault. So we pretty much got every class. What do we want two of? Probably Assault. And he is our next best guy. Probably Assault because it looked like maybe they were kind of running off, so we need some guys on the front lines to kind of push in and be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, he's got a scope, but we probably want to put him in a nanofiber vest. Cause probably going to be on the front lines. Uh, as far as our sniper, Mr. Giff, I think we're going to give him a nice fancy new laser pistol. Use it wisely. Effective range medium, base damage 2, critical chance 10%, critical damage is 3. Same thing, but just a lot better. It's just better in every way. Better in every way. Okay. Look at that, you get a nice fancy laser pistol, Al. Um, those guys got their nanofiber vests, their shotguns. See, this guy has running gun and tactical sense. I believe the other guy has that too. Running gun, tactical sense, and lightning reflexes, so he can kind of dodge. He he's going to be the first guy in, the last guy out type thing. And then we got our support guy, who's doing pretty good. Field medic. He carries a bunch of med kits. Let's make sure he's got those equipped. Yep. He's probably going to have our assault rifle, because he's two shotguns, one sniper, one heavy. So yeah, he'll have our... Uh, he'll get a laser rifle as well. 
improved version of the assault rifle. Effective range medium, 5, 10, 7. Or this is short, 3, 10, 4. So wow, this is a marked improvement. Where is Jamesy? Who do you want to be, Jamesy? Who do you want to be? Do you want to be, uh... Well, see, you can't be this guy. This is already Heterodyne. He's been supporting me through uh, the chat room earlier. You can be, uh... You can be Sergeant Torres. <laughs> I can kind of change these guys to look like whatever. You can be Sergeant Pawar or Sergeant Torres. You can be Assault. You can be one of the guys where you can be a heavy. We already have a sniper and we already have, uh... We already have a support. So you can be Assault or Heavy. I'll let you decide and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of edit the unit to kind of fit your description. Alright, you know what? I'm actually pretty attached to this guy. So, we're gonna try and make myself even more attached. And You wanna be the heavy? Okay, fine. Yeah, now he's probably my first and foremost. He's the only guy that survived the first mission, so he's been around the longest. So you can be the heavy. Uh, let's see here. Customize... James and your nickname is Roadblock. We can always change that. What a race. You're gonna be American, aren't you? Can we change that? We can't change the actual flag that he's from. Are there only four races? One, two, three, four. Alright. Sure, you sound like that. <laughs> I don't think you're very tan, so we're gonna make you as pale as possible. There we go, that's pretty pale. We can give you a mohawk. We might go with a. Let's see what kind of cut James he would have. He probably doesn't have a mustache, so we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of that. We might give you a fancy beard. There you go. That looks a little bit better. You do look like a, a clean-cut kind of guy. Hair. There we go. There we go. Maybe we'll give you a little different hair color. Could make you red, yellow, green. Oh my gosh. We could have fun with Mr. James. We'll make him kind of a dirty blonde. I think that's what he is. If I remember correctly from the pictures. Sure. And I sure hope you don't die. I'm going to do my best not to get you killed now that I have this. Or else I'd be pretty upset. These faces look weird when they're developing, like before they're actually made. There we go. That was like a Jamesy. Uh, uh, let's, yeah. Don't die, Jamesy. Counting on you. Alright, so we got our team here. Let's go, uh... Kill some aliens that are abducting people. Oh, I'm a little scared. A very difficult mission. I'm scared. Yeah. France is sending an urgent mission request. We picked up a local broadcast alien activity. You should get down there and eliminate any hostile. Okay, sweep the abduction site and identify threats. Neutralize all hostile targets. Kind of a search and destroy. Oorah. That's right. Five guys down. Let's scope out the area. Looks like we got a dock over here. Maybe some stuff going on over there. Bridge to 
somewhere. Oh, never mind. It's a street. I thought maybe there was a dock. Whoa, okay. Moved a little too far here. Alright. So we got this little thing over here. Alright. Let's get our assault guys in. I don't really have anywhere to cover first. Looks like you're going to be dashing. There's not a whole lot of cover for you anywhere. Get in there. Uh-oh. Well, that's a new one. What are these things? I'm a little worried. No, I don't want you to fire at him. No, stop it. All right, Mister. Uh, let's see here. Do our other assault guy. I have no idea what those guys are capable of. Kind of worries me. Are oh, we going to send these guys into the front? Eh, 1% chance to shoot. Probably better not. But we should probably hunker down and maybe get a little bit of a defensive bonus. No need to actually... Doubles cover bonus provides immunity to critical hits but reduces sight radius. That's okay. We don't need you to be seeing things right now. Support. We're going to keep you kind of further back. Your special ability is to jetpack behind your guys and shoot them in the back. Well, I don't want that. I know what we're going to do. We're gonna put this guy here. Get a little overwatch going on, so if they do that, then we'll get some shots on them. If, if what you say is true. Uh, I would imagine that would leave them uh, open for that opportunity. And Mr. Young, Jamesy's getting into battle as well. But he can't get into any decent cover. I want to keep these guys alive, but I don't want to put my guys in too much danger in the meantime. Hmm, let's see what we can do from here. Get over here, and we have some shots on these guys. Oh, we actually have some decent shots on them. I might actually put some holes into this guy. I hope you're up for the job, Jamesy. Ooh, you just popped him. Popped him pretty easy. Alright, so, he has a shot, kind of. We could probably get a better shot, to be quite honest, if we get right here. Let's try that. Oh, wait, but then we can't shoot. I always forget he can't shoot. Man, yeah, maybe with the pistol. Can you shoot with the pistol? Eh, he might. I can't go on Overwatch either with my, with my sniper rifle, right? No. Do I take the shot? Why not? Sure, we got one guy on Overwatch. That should be okay for now. Nice try with this with with the laser pistol. All right. Well, he seemed to have jumped on out of here. What is that? It's like lasers or something? Oh, that's out of bounds or something. Okay. Alright. Come on, uh... Red shirts. Oh, no! Not them. They don't seem to know where they want to go. All right, that is a lot of thin men. Let's 
Let's get my other assault guy here. Get him into some decent cover. Put you on the front lines. That's what we built you for. Oh man, he's got shots on all this. That's why I like Algif so much. Oh, if he has a sniper rifle. There we go. 71, 70. Wow, he actually has decent shots on all this. I should probably put him on Overwatch, since he could potentially shoot any of these things if they start to move towards our guys or anything. Or I could actually take the shot. Mm. Let's move some other guys first, see what we want to do with those first. You say just take the shot. Is that kind of the way we should go? Is be the choose the aggression side, cause them to react, I suppose, maybe? Instead of a uh, making the maybe call. Alright, let's see here. Heterodyne. Mr. Support. Doing what he does best. He's got a laser rifle and all that good stuff too. He's going to be just behind the front lines. If he can do anything from here, we'll let him. Uh, I don't have any shots on anything, so we might have to move him up in a second. Alright, you know what you said, take the shot. I'm trying to hit Mr. Thin Man over there. <whistles> Counting on you, Agif. If they are dead, they can't do anything exactly. And then put you on Overwatch. That's a good idea. You're kind of the Overwatch guy. I have to remember that in future support. Makes sense for him to do that. Makes sense. Alright, Jamesy. To get your big guns in the game at some point. But from where? Looks like you're going to need to be a little further up. Let's see what happens if we get you here. I don't think you have shots on anything yet. So we might. Can't get you up there, but we can get you up here. Hear those kids? Alright, we'll get you here. they shoot at us, I shoot them overwatch. That's true, you do. I forgot about that. No! Poison! You shooting my guy. Oh, the guy with poison? Oh, they rent that cover. Uh, oh. Uh, are those? Okay, they're sectoids. Yeah, talk about very difficult. They are sure going to test me this game, that's for sure. Alright. You don't have any shots on anything now. Kind of want to get our guy out of trouble here. What's a med kit? I'm trying to remember what the med kit uh, range is. Is it that? That red circle? I think that red circle is the med kit range. Either that's the med kit range or that's the poison gas range. Either way, I think if I get to right here, I can at least move someone over here to help him out. Let's do this. Get him right here. He's poisoned, right? I'd imagine it would say he's poison, if he was. Is he not poison? What is your status, sir? <laughs> you don't... There's a green and a red. I'm imagining the red... There's a green. The red may be a debuff of some sort.
Doesn't seem to really need it, though. He's not in that... Is he poisoned? How am I supposed to figure that out? Lee. What does this mean? What do these little green arrows mean? Are you poisoned? Soldier info. Here we go. Penalty is poisoned. Okay. Battle fatigues. Unit has suffered combat wounds, weakening its will. Okay. That's what the... Okay. <laughs> that is medkit range. Green equals buff. Red equals debuff, including pose. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm learning. Just have to figure out all the interface and be able to find that stuff out. He's getting a buff from elevated ground. Correct. We have three med kits. Why not? This guy, oh my gosh, he gets a huge buff. <laughs> Elevated ground and tactical sense. Units with tactical sense receive a defensive bonus for each enemy in sight. That's crazy. Uh, he's got five enemies in sight, so it's not too shabby.